Okay guys, so on screen is a list of all the items you should need and a screenshot of how your bank should be looking, so I advise to pause it now, buy all these items and then come back once you've done that. Okay, so starting just by the Grand Exchange, just to the south here is an inconspicuous bush, you build it. And then you need a pink robe top, pink a pink skirt and a body tiara, put them in. Right outside Varrick Palace you have another inconspicuous bush, you need a black axe, a coif and a ruby ring. Build that, and in they go. Next, you run inside the palace up to the library. There is an inconspicuous crate. You build it. You need a green rope top, ham rope bottoms, and an iron wall hammer. Put them in. Next, if you run down to the southeast side of Varrock into Aubrey's rune store, you should see another inconspicuous crate here. You should build it. And for this one, you need an air tiara and a staff of water. Put them in. After that, run down to the exam centre in the dig site. You should find an inconspicuous bush right by the entrance here. You build it. You need a white apron, some green boots, and some leather gloves. You put them in. Next, if you head up to the lumberyard just northeast of Varrock, there's another inconspicuous bush. You build it. For this one, you need leather chaps, hard leather body, and a bronze axe. You pop them in. After that you run directly east to the Rag and Bone Man location where you start the quest. There are some inconspicuous rocks here. You build them. For this you need bronze plate legs, a steel pickaxe and a steel medium helm. Pop them in. Next we are um, slightly north of Sears Village Bank and slightly south of Sinclair Mansion. There's a crossroads here. And right here there are some inconspicuous rocks. You need to build it. And for this one you need a leather cow, a blue wizard robe, top and an iron scimitar pop them in. After that you can come down to the beehives which is just west of Kaffa Bee and here there's an inconspicuous bush, you build it. And for this one you need a desert shirt, a green robe bottom and a steel axe, you pop them in. Directly south of there if you come to Keep Lafay, there is another inconspicuous hole here, you build it. For this one you need a coif, some leather gloves and an iron plate body, you put them in. Next, if you make your way over to the fishing guild entrance, there's an inconspicuous hole here if you build it. For this one you need an emerald ring, a sapphire amulet and a bronze chain body. Pop them in. After that, if you come over to the legends guild, it's right next to a fairy ring. There's another inconspicuous bush here, so you build it. For this one you need an emerald amulet, oak longbow and iron plate legs. You put them in. For this one you need to come slightly north of Ardy and there's a mill just here, it's right next to the fishing guild. Come in here, you go to the top floor, or to the top. There's an inconspicuous crate over here. Build it. And for this one, you need a blue robe top, ham robe bottom, and a normal tiara. Pop them in. Next, come down to East Ardy Zoo. Right next to the parrot cage, there is an inconspicuous bush. You build it. For this one, you need a studded body, bronze plate legs, and a normal staff. Pop them in. Next, if you make your way over to Tavoli to the Druid Circle, there are some inconspicuous rocks right here. You build them. For this one, you need a blue wizard hat, a bronze two-handed sword, and some hand boots. Pop them in. After that, if you have access to the fairy rings, then use the code AIQ and come to Mudskipper Point here. And there's an inconspicuous hole. Run over and build it. For this one, you need a black cape, leather chaps, and a steel mace. You pop them in. After that, if you make your way over to the Rimington Mine, and there are some inconspicuous rocks just here, you build them. And then for this one, you need a gold necklace, gold ring, and bronze spear, so pop them in. Next, if you make your way over to Port Sarum, right by the Monks of Entrana, there is an inconspicuous crate, you want to build it. For this one, you need a coif, a steel plate skirt, and a sapphire necklace, pop them in. After that, you want to make your way over to the Gem Store in Falador, just here. Next to the White Knight's Castle, there is an inconspicuous bush, you want to build it. For this you need a mithril pickaxe, a black plate body and an iron kite shield, pop them in. And then over on the other side of Falador, right next to the party room, there's an inconspicuous bush, you want to build this one. And you need a steel full helm, steel plate body and an iron plate skirt, and pop them in. After that, over at the jewel arena, as you teleport in with the ring, there's a little room here with an inconspicuous crate, you want to build this. And for this one you need some leather chaps, a coif and an iron chain body, pop them in. And then if you run slightly northwest of the jewel arena into the mine, there are some inconspicuous rocks, so you build them. 
And for this one, you need a desert shirt, leather gloves, and leather boots. You want to put them in there. Now I'm in a Lumbridge swamp right by the shack that will take you to Xanaris after the Lost City quest. And there is an inconspicuous hole here. You want to build this one. And for this, you need a bronze dagger, iron full helm, and a gold ring. You want to whack them in there. For this next one, there's a wheat field right next to a mill in between Lumby and Draenor. Coming to the field, there's an inconspicuous hole here. You want to build this. And for this one, you need a blue robe top, a turquoise robe bottom, and an oak short bow. You pop them in. After that, you want to make your way over to Draenor Village. And in between Draenor Village and the Wizard Tower, there's a bridge here. There's an inconspicuous crate. You want to build this. And here, you need an iron medium helm, an emerald ring, and a white apron. You want to pop them in there. And then if you make your way directly north of there to Draenor Village Market, there's an inconspicuous hole right by a bench here. You want to build this hole. And for this you need some studded chaps, a steel longsword and an iron kite shield. You want to whack them in there. And then if you run north of the market to the crossroads here, south from uh, Draenor Manor, there's an inconspicuous bush just here. You want to build it. And for this you need an iron chain body, sapphire ring and a normal longbow. You pop them in there. And then if you go north into Draenor Manor here, there's a fountain just in the southwest corner. You want to build these inconspicuous rocks just here. And for this one you need an iron plate body, studded chaps and a bronze saw helm. I'm going to pop them in. And then finally the crossroads north of Rivington Mine. I apologise, you could have done this earlier when you were in the mine and run north. But anyway, here um, there's some inconspicuous rocks just here. You want to build them. And you need a cream robe top, leather chaps and a green hat pop them in and that's all of them complete there's 29 in total i hope this guide helped you guys if it did please leave a like and i will see you next time cheers